Yo, what is up? What is good? Welcome to the channel. Hope you have a great day. Remember, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. I'm posting two new videos every Monday and Thursday, and you don't want to miss out. All right, so I actually missed last Thursday's video. I was in the middle of recording a 10,000 calorie challenge, and the mic, hold on. I just had to double check right now just to make sure. The mic wasn't flipped on to camera mode, it was flipped on to phone mode. I didn't know there was that big of a difference and I didn't know that someone flipped that up to a phone mode. So all the sound in the 10,000 calorie challenge video that I was recording was completely missing. So it was just like my mouth was moving just like that. So we're actually at the gym right now. <coughs> I'm meeting up with one of my, uh, one of my, an old friend from the Get Fit Academy days. Her name is Heather. We're talking girls at the gym. Um, she's, you know what, we're just gonna wait until she gets here. But first, we gotta take that pre-workout. All right, so we're about to take that pre-workout. You already know what it is. Bean supplements. Uh, we're going with the Pink Lemon Aid. This just recently came out, their newest launch. And let me tell you, it is my new favorite. It takes the top spot. I used to be running with watermelon canning all day, every day. But I'm telling you this right now, super refreshing, super sweet, and still, same thing. It gives you just enough pump. Uh, remember that first link in the description is always my support code. Use code Ryan10 at checkout. Save you with some money, support your boy, and it's always appreciated. So we're gonna take this pre, I hit the dry scoop, I don't have any of my shaker cu cups here. And I don't wanna mix in the water, so. Straight to the dome, cheers! Let's wait till Heather gets here. So good. All right, pre-workout is taken, and then Heather has arrived. So like I said, I met her while I was working at Get Fit Academy, and then this is her video. I'll let you get to know a little about her. Heather, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Heather. I'm from Florida. I got into working out when I was 14 in high school, did weight training, um, and then just throughout my life, I started fishing when I was about 15, 16 years old, and I really wanted to be stronger than the boys, so I lift even harder, um, just so I can reel on those fish. I definitely don't want help. Once you start reeling, you can't give up the reel. IGFA fishing rules. Um, so yeah, that's why I love working out, and um, I'm here with Ryan today. And so like I, I, as I told her, like we were just off camera, we were talking, when I found out she was fit, like she was a fisher, in my mind, I said like, I never pictured like women fishing, like I hope that doesn't offend anybody, but I always pictured like, fat man drinking beer. And then I met, like moving down to South Florida, I was like, oh wait, there's a whole world of this out here. And so I'm extremely happy to get her on there to not give me some more knowledge and then help you all learn a little bit more also. So we're gonna get this workout in, we're gonna get warmed up, let's get it. We knocked out the first round of the back. Um, so, as you're saying, you're big, really big into fishing. So, what got you into fishing? Because I feel like that's not a, like a traditional route to go down and choose a good hobby. I could be wrong because it's South Florida, but what got you into fishing? So, growing up, I was kind of like a tomboy, um, and I always kind of hung with the boys. I started fishing when I was like six years old off the seawall by the Hillsboro Lighthouse. Um, with my stepdad and my cousins and stuff. So I always just was into like the, the outdoors and, and being more hands-on with things. Um, always loved the color pink, but liked the other thing, so yeah. I love that. And so how often would you say that you go fishing now? Because like I see on like your social media, your Instagram, like there's a lot of fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been um, a lot recently um, just because my career kind of took off and it requires a lot of more of my time. Um, and I can't really step away from the responsibilities that I have today. But I do try to get on the water as much as I can. Any weather window that I can make, I'm always there. And um, yeah. So like you're saying, you're always trying to outdo the boys. Like, so it's be, being like a woman fishing, do you get like a lot of attention from men, for the, the fishermen? Yeah, it's more so just men, girls in a bikini. You know how it is. Um, so besides that, if you can kind of 
accept them where they are. They're men. It is what it is. And I'm here for the sport of it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get more into this question later. We're going to keep going with that back. Stay tuned. It's getting hot in here and the AC is not working. I have this feeling and it sucks. Uh, but so where would you wait? So you said earlier how you, like I said, we're gonna keep going back to fishing, how you wanna be better than the guys. That's a very high level of confidence. Where do you rate your confidence level like on a scale of one to 10? I would say my confidence level is about seven or eight. Uh, that's, a, that's a great level to be in. So like, how do you, how do you carry that confidence throughout everything that you do, whether it's trying something new or even just getting better at the things that you already do do? Um, just carrying the confidence through things would just be knowing who I am and knowing my potential, knowing my worth, and implementing that into everything else in my life. And then how, so if there's something that, if, have, has there been something that you've tried to accomplish that you've kind of fell short of? And if so, like how did you rebound from that? So something that I kind of fell short of would be I mean, for instance, we'll just say that I took my real estate course and I missed it by a point. I now have to go back through the process, but success is built on failure. And every time you fall, you just have to get it right back up. And that's the damnedest truth. And I love that you already brought that up because I know a lot of times where you always, you're, you have every reason to be down on yourself and say, fuck it, if I already failed once, I don't need to do it again. But success is built on failures and you keep going. I love how you brought that up. Going on to the shoulders next, we were actually just talked about how she was fishing one time and she, like, she was reeling this 70 pound tuna for 30 minutes straight. I'm like, hold on, I've, I've lifted a 70 pound dumbbell. I'm not holding that shit for 30 minutes. So <laughs> we'll get into that one next. Shoulders again done, like I said. 30 minutes of reeling that in. Like, we hit a little bit of our lats earlier, so I don't know, wild. So do you think being strong, confident, and like driven, do you think that that kind of intimidates men to try to like approach you? Um, I would say it's intimidating to a certain extent. I, I am in the dating scene, so going on dates and going with people, um, they tend to, sometimes it just gets awkward, and it's just be yourself. I mean, everybody's putting their best foot forward, but I don't want to get three months down the line and find out really who you are. So just be who you are. Be yourself, be confident in yourself. So as far as, as, far as like being on the dating scene, like you're saying like be yourself, do you think that some people put more like all their effort on like the book cover than what's really inside? Yes, and back with like the intimidating thing, it's more so like people see what's on the surface versus what's inside and there's a lot more to people than what you kind of see on the outside. Fellas, hear this, okay? This is what she's looking for. Stop playing games, be real. It's more shoulders. stronger but we're, we're pushing through this um, we just so we just touched on like how you're in the dating scene so living in South Florida like how do you we touch on it a little bit like it's it's tough dating down here why do you why do you think that um, I think it's tough dating down here and especially nowadays because it's always easier to get the next best thing anytime you run into a hiccup with a partner or anything like that it's always easy to just close the door and go start something new versus make the grass greener where you water it. And that's the truth because I know like, it sucks to say when when people do, when some couples do get into that argument, it's like, all right, cool. I don't want to deal with it. It's easier just to end it. But then that's how you know, it's like, if, you're, if it's really something worth it, yeah. you got to talk through that shit. As uncomfortable as it may be, 
Babe, I love you. That's what we do. Because <laughs> like not every relationship is going to be 100% green the entire time. Yes. Like it's life. Shit yep. gets ugly. Nothing is perfect. Hell no. What's something that you look for when you when when you get into that first argument? How do you approach it? Um, just communication. Being able to be open and honest about where you're at, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, whatever it may be, communication is definitely key in everything. Facts on facts. Uh, about to hit some legs right now. We're gonna go with the squats and some deadlifts. Big weight coming in hot. All right, so why you rack that? What is, just as we were on that DM line earlier, <coughs> what's something that catches your attention from a guy, whether it's on a, on, a, on a dating app or DMs or texting, like what catches your attention? Um, something that catches my attention would definitely be persistency. I kind of don't respond after the first message. No offense, don't take it personal. Um, I'm just more so into, I don't want to be like every other girl and be hit up and random conversation. I'm more than just surface level conversation. So persistency shows me that you're interested. And then so for the persistency, like, is it way like message, 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 and then you say hi? <laughs> no, it's sometimes like message, message, and then I don't respond and maybe like a month or two passes and then it's like a follow up and then it's, it's kind of touch and go and then it kind of falls off and then it's like a follow up. And then, you know, I had one, one, one time, somebody told me, like, hit me up and was like, third time's a charm. <laughs> and did that catch your attention? Yeah. Dude, hey, the patience paid off, guy. If you're, if you're watching, good for you. <laughs>
we're always gonna be our biggest critic, we're always gonna be hardest on ourselves because <clears throat> if you're motivated, if you're striving for something, you are always gonna strive for that perfection, but perfection isn't always gonna be there, but there is possible there is always opportunity to get better and to keep going. So how's that work out? Brutal. She's back at it. We're gonna try to get her in here more often with one of my groups. But if um, if people are trying to find you on social media, where can they find you? Uh, my social media is Heather underscore Nicole XO. XO. All right. And if y'all have made it this far in the video, we're ending it here. Remember, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'm posting two new videos every Monday and Thursday, and you don't want to miss out. Other than that, hope you have a great day, have a great rest of your week. See you at the next one. Peace. Bye, guys.